Hi guys and welcome to another episode. Um, this evening what we have on the bench is a quite rare machine, although interesting. The Timex uh, 2048, which actually came to me in a box, um, the Styro only, but uh, it's okay. Um, we're gonna be opening this box together here to see that actually what it is is uh, is that Spectrum clone and this clone uh, interestingly enough uh, is called the TC2048 which stands for Timex computers made in Portugal by Timex Corporation um, and actually it's a ZX Spectrum 48K clone under license there was another attempt, uh, which was called the TS-2048, standing for Timex Sinclair, designed uh, in the US, but never passed their pristine or prototype stage, so they came up with this one. Um, I can see there is the original power supply on the side, perfect, I like that. Um, there is a cable for video, yes. This is something interesting. Um, as you know, and as you have probably noticed, we go for uh, modification to get uh, composite-like um, um, signal out of the ZX Spectrum. It is the European, uh, of course, uh, type of uh, uh, plug for the 220 volts coming from the mains. And let's take a look, good look at the uh, machine. It has a better keyboard. This is plastic, not rubber. Oh, the space bar is the right length, and <laughs> this is something that I was missing. From the spectrum, I can see a LED light as a power indicator, and of course, the power on off switch on the side. Uh, yes, how we'd love to have that. At the back, we have the e power, of course, the expansion slot, um, a monitor output, which was something very cheap Sinclair should have done in the first place, but whatever. Micro uh, microphone and um, sound, and a Kempston compatible joystick port on the side, even better. So, um, this is a a better version of the ZX Spectrum, if you ask me. Um, at the back, we can find the um, area where the um, uh, the speaker sits, uh, and the whole thing is a ZX Spectrum-like machine. In better case, better outputs, better design, if you ask me. And um, yeah, it's actually a very very nice and uh, successful ZX Spectrum 48K clone. Um, of course the machine comes with the Instructia uh, Obsugi which means uh, the user's manual in Polish. Uh, forgive my Polish but they're very poor. Uh, it looks like uh, there is a user's manual uh, which is pretty much a, uh, a detailed uh, edition, 1985, Timex, 1982, Sinclair Research, um, and the license, of course, uh, has been translated into Polish and uh, released in Poland and Portugal, for the most part. And this is somehow interesting because it it used to be hard to find this machine in the UK. A ZX Spectrum clone, hard to find in the UK, imagine that. Um, nowadays, of course, it's pretty uh, easy to get it from eBay or uh, somewhere. You can uh, look it up. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking over the uh, the uh, user's manual, the Instruxia Obzugi, uh, but uh, just uh, just wanted to mention, and I'm happy it came with uh, with the manual in the box, and uh, so uh, 
guess it's it's uh, complete. The cables are stuck in there. Of course, the cables are part of the cables uh, that we need to use for connecting our device to the um, power supply. Uh, the power supply should be uh, compatible with the ZX Spectrum one, so negative, uh, not in the center, and um, a couple of cables missing the cables for the uh, tape recorder for loading and, game, uh, and, and and saving games and programs and of course I cannot see any companion tape around here well no worries uh, the purpose of this video today was just to get into the first part um, of the um, introduction of this machine because I can strongly feel that I'm gonna get back to it in the future I'm gonna power it up now using the typical ZX Spectrum uh, power supply and we can see hopefully uh, the lead coming up and um, I, I've been told it's been working so yes we have the Sinclair logo, a crystal clear on the TV. Um, actually, it's uh, AV3, the input. Um, but anyways, um, the other thing I wanted to mention about this machine is that um, it used to have a custom ULA chip, the classic uh, ULA chip. Um, for ZX Spectrum has been slightly modified to um, uh, offer better IRQ and memory management and um, these uh, improved ULA um, had some additional screen modes so we could have um, text uh, 32 by 24 we could have graphics 256 by uh, 192 extended color 256 by 190 uh, to 15 colors with color resolution of uh, 32 by 192 and dual screen to 256 by 192 pixel screens uh, could be placed on memory which was uh, well quite an improvement um, I like this machine very much as I said I'm gonna get back to it I'm gonna call it and mark it uh, this video as part one and um, yes I'll be back with this machine um, I'm gonna load some software and do whatever it takes to push it to, to its limits and check compatibility I'm gonna try to have um, certain uh, programs and games loaded um, at least this is the plan or sounds like a plan to me uh, to, to check compatibility because they say it would be uh, 99 well 98 97 nobody knows uh, compatible with ZX Spectrum but not a hundred percent fully compatible so we'll see so this video let's yeah call it um, part one and I promise I'll get back with part two um, checking some software, loading some software and, and do stuff uh, typing um, basic commands like I do at this moment and um, see what happens uh, but for now I'm gonna call it a wrap um, I'm very happy I got my hands on uh, the TC2048 uh, Timex machine uh, as part of my collection and um, yeah I'll, I'll be back soon with another video presenting uh, some games uh, and, and some programs loaded uh, on this machine and see how it reacts uh, how compatible it is or how compatible it should be with ZX Spectrum and all that um, I'm gonna have to uh, thank you guys for watching this video again uh, 
yeah I'm gonna call it a wrap a typical silly program to see that everything works on the screen um, at least uh, my concern was the keyboard if the keyboard works well uh, consider subscribing uh, if you will um, I'm gonna catch you later as I said with another video uh, it looks crystal clear I like it very much well you know what I like this machine very much uh, it was an improved um, ZX Spectrum uh, from Portugal so promise I'll get back with uh, part 2 soon um, so thanks for watching and consider subscribing thank you very much bye bye